love the Pantone Color of the Year Radiant Orchid. And I think purples in general are really flattering on a lot of different skin tones. And then Radiant Orchid, which has more of that fuchsia pink undertone, is especially fun and I have been wearing it a lot lately. And I originally thought that the Color of the Year was just a singular color, but when I went to Pantone's website, they have a really cool picture where they have pulled everyday items that fit into the Radiant Orchid family. And they range from a really like lavender, light lavender orchid to a much deeper pinky berry orchid. So I think if you are fair like me, you can wear this color. And if you are much deeper in skin tone, you can make this color work for yourself as well. And it will be beautiful. So I have gone through my makeup drawers and pulled some of the products I think fit into the Radiant Orchid family. And I'm going to talk about them today and try some of them on for you. The product that kind of started this all was the Benefit Lolly Tint. And when they started marketing this, they said it was a candy orchid color and that it would fit into the Radiant Orchid color scheme for the year. And this this is a product, I think if you just want to tip, dip your toe into this trend, this would be a perfect place to start. I have it both on my cheeks and my lips today. And like I've mentioned in past videos, when I wear it on my cheeks, I think it is really important to do one side of the face before you move to the other. So I will put three tiny little dashes on the back of my cheekbones, and then I'll use a dual fiber stippling brush and just very lightly blend in the color, working quickly because it will set. And that's probably my favorite thing about this other than the color is that it lasts all day and it looks beautiful. I also have this on my lips right now, and while I like the color that it gives my lips, it can make them feel a little bit dry. So when I wear it on my lips, I put a lip balm on top. So in my mind, Lolly Tint is like the entry level for Radiant Orchid makeup. And these next two products are what I like to layer over top of Lolly Tint just to amp it up a little bit. And the first is a longtime favorite product, and this is Benefits Urvana. And this is one of the box powders, and it has a little swirl of colors to it, some plum and peach and a shimmering color. And I like to take this on a brush and just lightly tap it over Lolly Tint. And it just amps up the color a little bit. You get a little bit of that berry, but the peach also brings a lot of warmth to the cheeks, which I really like. I love the natural glow that Urvana gives my cheeks. So now that my cheeks have a little bit more color, I want to amp up the lips just a little bit. And I like to top off Lolly Tint with a purple colored gloss. And lately I've been using the Revlon color in 225 Berry Allure. And this is a beautiful sheer purple that pairs really nicely on top of Lolly Tint. So this is my intermediate radiant orchid look and I really like this gloss. I like the amount of shine it gives my lips and it also helps because like I mentioned that lolly tint can make my lips feel a little bit dry so the gloss feels really good and comfortable to wear. So I wiped both of those lip products off. You can see lolly tint stained my lips just a little bit and it is a really pretty color especially for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of pigment to their lips to start out with. It's nice to have that stain to last me through the day. So I'm going to move into some really bold lip products. And the first one I have is the YSL Glossy Stain. And today I'm showing you number 16. And this is one of the first glossy stains I bought and they have turned out to be one of my favorite lip products. So 16 is a fuchsia purple color. So let me apply it and show you what it looks like on. This is just one coat of the YSL Glossy Stain in number 16 and it is so creamy and pigmented. And a lot of times I'll go in with another coat, but since I'm going to take it off, I don't want to waste product, but I love this color and this is a stain and will last forever. But unlike the Lolly Tint, this is incredibly nourishing and it actually helps my lips feel better as it wears off. This next lipstick is for those of you who are really committed to this color because it is really bold. And not only is the color itself bold, but it also has some pretty serious glitter in it. And this is the Too Faced La Creme in the shade Lollipop. And I ordered this sight unseen from Sephora back in December. And I guess I didn't read the description very carefully on Sephora.com because it clearly says there's glitter in it, but all the other La Cremes I have are completely a cream formula. So I was very surprised when I got this tube in the mail and saw all the glitter in it. And originally I thought I was going to return it, but I watched a few people's review of the kind of chocolate collection that came out. And I saw this lipstick on a few people and I thought it looked really beautiful. So there is a lot of glitter in it and almost gives the lips a metallic look. You can't feel the glitter on your lips, but some of it does last a little bit longer than the lipstick. So you'll see a little bit of glitter on your lips. So I know this one won't be for everybody, but I thought I would still show it to you just because it's a really fun color. 
Lollipop is definitely not an everyday color for me, but when I have the right eyeshadow and the right place to wear it, I really like this. Even with the glitter, I can't feel it on my lips when I press my lips together and it's very comfortable and I always love the La Creme formula. So I just showed you two pretty dramatic lip products and I also wanted to include a more dramatic blush. And this is one of the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blushes in the shade Flush, which is a gorgeous pinky fuchsia. And I wanted to men mention this specifically for people who have deeper skin tones. Doesn't mean if you can't wear it if you are fair like me. I personally apply this with a duo fiber stippling brush. And even then it's not a natural blush, but I think if you have dark skin tone, this color would be beautiful. And would really get you into that Radiant Orchid family. So I personally like to wear this color on my cheeks or lips, but I thought I would mention two eyeshadow products in case you'd like to try that out. And for a high-end option, I have from Laura Mercier the color in African Violet. And I thought this would be a great one to mention because I think a lot of people own it because she puts it in a lot of her palettes. And African Violet is a gorgeous violet shade and it is shot through with a gold shimmer. And I love to apply this as a wash completely completely over my lid and then also smudged into my lower lash line. And then I'll take a matte light brown just to add a little bit of definition to my crease. From the drugstore, L'Oreal makes a gorgeous one of their infallible shadows. And this is in the shade 759 Burst Into Bloom. And this is really pretty and metallic. It is spot on with Radiant Orchid. And I know a lot of people will put this on their lower lash line or their lid, but I actually have been wearing it with an entirely light matte eye. And then I will take a really fluffy brush and then I will just buff this color into my crease. And it's not as crazy as it sounds and it actually is kind of subtle. And then I'll do a pretty big black thick line with a lot of mascara and I really like how that looks. The last product I wanted to mention today is a nail polish. And out of the nail polishes I own, the closest one I have to Radiant Orchid is from Butter London. And this is in their shade called Molly Coddled. And this is probably the lightest I'm showing you today. And it leans more lavender, but I think it can still fit into this trend. And I love how this nail polish works. And I'm excited, I actually just put it on my nails. And I have found an inexpensive base coat and top coat that I have been really liking. So I'm gonna share those in my February favorites video. I am in a race against the sun and the sun is definitely winning and it is setting and kind of messing up the lighting. So I am going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite Radiant Orchid makeup. I would love to hear if this is a color that you like and that you have been wearing and what products that you have found have been working for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.